to Minute of Yiddish. I'm your host, Cookie Kapitznik. You know, another thing that I just love about Yiddish is that it is packed with words to describe every annoying or unpleasant person who has ever crossed your path. You've undoubtedly heard many of these terms through the years. Shmagegi, Schmendrick, Nebish, Klutz, Putz, Stonk. Today, we're gonna cover a couple of the basics. You remember that old theme song from Laverne and Shirley? Five, six, seven, eight, Shlemiel, Shlemazel, House and Pfeffer Incorporated, we're gonna do it. That was Yiddish. So what is a Shlemiel, and how does it differ from a Shlemazel? Shlemiel can mean a few different things, but none of them are good. It can be a fool, a simpleton, someone who lacks basic intelligence and common sense. Her son Adam is a neurosurgeon, but that other one, Ben, he has the brains of a schlemiel, that one. Schlemiels are a little too naive and trusting. They're very gullible. They make foolish bets and foolish bargains. As Martin Marcus says in his wonderful little book from the 60s, Yiddish for Yankees, a schlemiel is a person with crazy plans, like wanting you to invest your life savings in a scheme he has to grow pineapples in Oregon. A Schlemiel is also a consistently unlucky person. That poor Schlemiel, he always gets the short end of the stick. A Schlemiel can also be someone who's clumsy, someone who's all butterfingers, all thumbs. He tried to save money by installing his own toilet. Now the poor Schlemiel has to replace all the tile work and call in a plumber to fix the pipes. Schlemiel is a title that carries a very distinct note of pity. There's an old Yiddish proverb that a Schlemiel falls on his back and breaks his nose. Now here's where Schlemazel comes in. Schlemazel comes from the German word schlimm, which means bad, and the Hebrew word mazel, which means luck. Now while a Schlemiel never has any good luck, a Schlemazel actually has bad luck. A Schlemazel is someone for whom nothing ever seems to go right. He's an unlucky Schlemiel. Someone who couldn't grow pineapples in Hawaii, better yet, Oregon. Now, there are some wonderful old folk sayings that sum this all up beautifully. When a schlamazel winds a clock, it stops. When he sells umbrellas, the sun comes out. When he looks in the river, the fish drop dead. When he manufactures shrouds, people stop dying. So a schlemiel is the kind of clumsy oaf who spills his soup down the neck of a schlemazel who has the kind of bad luck that always seems to put him in the wrong place at the wrong time. A schlemiel is the person who spills their soup. A schlemazel is the person it lands on. Confusing, I know, but if you accidentally mix one word with the other, no one will know the difference because the bottom line is they're both born losers. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, sei gesund, be healthy, be well, farewell. Give us any rule, we'll break it. We're gonna make our dreams come true. Doing it our way, there is nothing we won't try. Never heard the word impossible, and this time there's no stopping us. <laughs> On your mark, get set, and go now. Got a dream, and we just know now. We're gonna make our dreams come true. And we'll do it our way, yes, our way. Make all our dreams come true. And we'll do it our way, yes, our way. Make all our dreams come true for me and you.